Shoo! How's it going folks? Welcome back to vlog number three. Today we're gonna be doing a bass catching cook. Let's go get on the water. We're heading down to the dock, and then we're gonna walk down the river that way. And then if we don't catch anything, we'll walk back up. We're aiming for like maybe three bass today. Not too much, but just enough for us to make a couple tacos. All right, so we're walking along and we run across the first catch of the day. Dead bird. Probably not gonna eat that. And we would fish this spot, it's just way too shallow. It looks super good, the docks are there. There's big rocks in the water. It's just like literally a foot deep all the way past the end of that dock. So we're gonna keep moving. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Easy, easy boy, easy. Oh, that's stuck in there pretty good. Small guy. Super small guy. No, we should keep but, it. Yeah. Eat you! It. I'm not eating it. Yes, we should eat it. Eat this one. All right, everybody is still over there. I'm gonna be fishing this rock pile right here. I was fishing here yesterday and I got snagged like 25 times. So we're not gonna try and let that happen today. I had to get wet, I fell in, it's just not a good deal. Let's go. Super slippery. We're gonna let that float for a second. I'm gonna get out to this rock, it seems better, hopefully. All right, no snags, let's go. Oh, it's starting to rain. Hold up, all right. Had one chasing it in. Just not too far, just pitch it kind of like right where it was. Nothing there. All right, we're gonna be going right here, kind of this dock. It drops off pretty good. There might be some enclosed fish, so I'm not gonna get all the way up there. Right by the dock. Oh, I'm gonna, actually, I lied. I'm stepping up. Oh, I can see a rock right there. Nothing on that first cast. All right, let's step out to this point. Perfect cast, right next to the dock. Love working this crankbait in springtime. Crankbait works super well. These fish are eating shad right now, so if you have any crankbait that's kind of white and maybe green on it, that's kind of imitates a shad, and the bass will go crazy for that. I was fishing here a couple days ago and I caught one kind of over there by that boathouse. Um, Still, the water isn't too warm, but the fish are in, so we're just trying to catch them. All right, we're gonna move on. Continuing our way down the river. Got the Crocs, but the sport mode broke off of them. I got my legs spray painted because we're making skimboards. Oh, here we go. We fished this yesterday. It's not very good. This little like cove right here. All right. All right, guys. I got my bait stuck up there, so now I'm gonna try and climb for it. This is a horrible idea. All right, we just cast it kind of over this, on this dock area. Okay, We're just trying to get, there's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's let's go. One. Let's go, Johnny. Yeah, I just got one. Nice guy. Let's go, boys. Ooh, kind of got a red eye. Hooked him through the top of the mouth. Aaron, shut up. This guy is going to eat well. Let's go. 
Oh, let's go, baby. Nice fish, boy, on the new crank. I was just pulling it Pretty in. Pretty nice one. Right next to that rock right there. Felt something. It was this little guy. Came up. Could be catch and cook. She'll eat. Yeah. Catch and cook, baby. Catch and cook? Bro, I haven't caught one in. Oh, bro. Come on, baby. What the heck? He's not even fighting. <laughs> dude, what? What type of fish is that? <laughs> it's a bean mouse, dude. Hey, there we go. Second one of the day. Third. Oh, well, I mean, second for me. Um, oh, looks like we got him hooked pretty good. He's going to die. There we go. Hey, 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 it's the second mini guy. Keeper, <laughs> that's a keeper. Yo, chill. Oh my gosh, dude. Frick you, bro. Frick this fish. <laughs> Behind the back. All right, we're done fishing for the day now. I'm gonna go and teach you guys how I cut these up, how I make my fillets, and we'll get these things cooking. We'll get everybody's taste test reaction. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I fillet my bass and perfectly prepare them. I'm gonna start off by going up their butthole, and then I kind of take the knife. Yes, I know I'm cutting towards myself. And then I just kind of go up towards their neck. That will let all their guts out and hopefully they don't have eggs because we just want males. All right, now we're just gonna go to their head. Straight down, try not to take off too much meat. All right, we just got their head off. Now we're gonna, this is kind of a nasty part, but grab their guts and just kind of pull them out because nobody wants to eat those. All right, once you get all their guts out, you're gonna wanna take all the fins off. All right, we are just gonna cook up one today because we'll save this guy for another time when I wanna make myself a taco. We're just gonna give everybody sort of a taste with this. We'll go get the pan, we're gonna put some uh, avocado oil on it. We'll get this guy sizzling. We'll have ourselves a little feast. All right, the pan is on. We're gonna put this, a bit of avocado oil in there, kind of start to get it Actually, we're gonna wait till the pan sort of heats up. We don't wanna burn our oil. I learned that hard the last time. Let's get this pan heated up. All right, we're gonna be putting some avocado oil in our pan. Not sizzling, we don't wanna burn any. This should get hot very, very quickly. We're gonna take a bit of salt and put it in our oil. Okay. Salt is in the oil. Turn the heat up a little bit. I had it on super high heat and it was just way too hot. There we go, the oil's getting hot. All right, the bass is going in. Boom, baby. Now you know she's hot. All right, we have been cooking up for a little while. It's getting super sizzly. Um, the oil's going everywhere, but we're starting to look pretty gold, pretty golden brown. I'm gonna flip up this side, but we're not nearly cooked through. We'll catch you back when we're cooked through. All right, we're just about done on this first side. Woo! The rain has started to come down, so our oil splashes really. <laughs> what is this kid doing? <laughs> the oil splashes a lot, but. Yeah. It's honestly looking pretty tasty there in there. I'm not quite sure what this shot is right here. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try and get a good clean flip on this. Woo! Oh yeah, she's looking good. She is looking good, folks. Woo! Woo! Alright, we're finished cooking now. We're gonna boom, turn the heat off. We're gonna add salt, pepper, and lemon juice, and we're gonna get all reactions. All right, we've got our meat. Now we're gonna add salt. We're gonna add pepper and some lime juice. All right, we want a pretty, we want a light amount of pepper because it's pretty overpowering. 
All right, that's plenty. Now we're gonna salt it. A little bit more. And now some lime. This is going to be some flavorful fish. Let's go get some reactions. All right, here's my first taste test. We're gonna get a pretty nice piece. It's pretty good. It kind of tastes like trout. I like it. All right, here All right. we go. Gonna get a big piece. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Trout's definitely better though. Yeah. I was gonna try. Let's get in a piece. Mmm. What does mm. it taste like? It's not the best fish, but it's good. All right, we'll take it. It's not bad. All right, Gabe's gonna give it a taste. Yep, that's pretty good. The spices definitely add that bit of flavor to the fish. Thank you for watching today's video. Be sure to drop in the comments what you want us to do next. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.